Welcome to the end zone. Let's move the chains. According to XFL analysts, the National Football League has opposed the XFL's trademark application for the Houston Roughnecks primary logo because of its striking resemblance to that of the Houston Oilers logo, which they do still use for merchandising in the National Football League. So if you want my quick opinion on it, yeah, the, the NFL has the right to do this. I know a lot of people are going to hate on the NFL, but but this is just how it works. You know, I, I think that the XFL, when they originally made this logo, they had to sort of see this coming because this Houston Roughnecks logo is basically the Houston Oilers logo with updated colors, uh, a little bit different. There, there's like an H inside the logo. Those are really the only differences, and the XFL probably should have seen this coming. So there are two options that the XFL can, actually really three options. So first, they can go ahead, keep all the colors the same, keep the branding the same, and just go to their secondary logo, which is right here. Honestly, I'd be uh, on board for that. It's still really unique to the identity of the Houston Roughnecks, and you can keep the name, keep the jerseys, keep the helmets. All you have to do is switch out the logos. No big deal. There's some other things that they can do. According to XFL analysts, the XFL also has trademarks for the Houston Comets, the Houston Wildcatters, which obviously would not be used, the Houston Nitro, and the Houston Octane. My favorite out of all that is the Houston Comets because it really connects to the city of Houston. But then again, that'd take a whole different type of rebranding, a lot of money that the XFL probably wouldn't want to spend and also, they could go back to some of the 2001 trademarks that they still own, but I think that they might be saving those for later, really just not using them. If I were the XFL, if I were being put in their shoes, I would definitely just go with the secondary logo. No harm, no foul. Uh, it's a shame that this happened, but I think that the original XFL should have seen this coming. I'd love to know your opinions. What do you think about this situation with the XFL and the National Football League? Thanks for watching the end zone. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment so we can move the chains.